Hello IPXers, we're again here at the Tuxera booth where they talk about data, data and data and the paranoia of losing your data. So Tom is going to explain to us how Tuxera makes sure when the power goes, wherever that is, whatever the application is, how they make sure you don't lose your data. That's right. It starts with copy on write. NAND flash, which is the type of storage that you have, and it's the type of storage that's in everywhere in here in the embedded space, okay? You can't overwrite it anyways. Great, let's make a file system that takes advantage of that. Why, if I can't overwrite it, great, let's leave that as the part of the old state, and when every time I do my write, I do it to the new state. Power's lost, here comes the old state. It's right there. It's waiting for you. Right. So you do all that in software and it just makes sure that it runs seamlessly. So what would be the what would be a perfect uh, example of that in the field? Where, where, where do you see where data is absolutely powerful and where the potential for, for losing power is critical? I mean, besides things like medical where you really can't lose things yeah. and you really want it to come up very quickly, besides those kinds of obvious cases, how about an over-the-air update? Yes. Okay. My system needs to boot, needs to, needs to have some files put in. Oh, the power's lost halfway through. Okay. In the old days on your computer, it'd put up a message and say, do not reboot the system, do not lose power. We can't do that in Embedded. That's no. not an option. No. So, so, so today, where do you see those typical examples of, of I mean, we, when we think of over the air, you typically think of automotive. Automotive's you... a big one for Tuxera. We're a very large automotive company uh, working with automotive all the time. In right. fact, the file system we are showing here and we've showed the demo of is ISO 26262. There's a couple extra 26s in there, but you know what I mean. What's well, six between friends? Mr. C, it's designed for automotive certification. And that's the other direction that things are headed. But besides that, sure, aerospace, medical, there's many situations where having something like this is really important. Right, and, and is that very, very easy? How, how would an engineer, so, so obviously everybody's parent, you use an example of automotive, use an example of uh, shall we say drones or medical or anything like that? Absolutely paranoid. How would they do that today? If how would they ensure an over an air update was safe if they didn't have you? Well, uh, I think probably the easiest way, and this is uh, something that is in modern SD cards, for instance, you could have what's known as an A B. Okay, so in A B, you're updating B. And if something has a problem, you're just going to rebound. You'll be back on A. Everything's good. Way. When you go back to B, okay, we're good. Now, the only problem with that, obviously it takes more space. How many system files are we talking about? Is it a couple of K? Is it a couple of hundred megabytes? If it's really large, having an A, B means you've lost a lot of space. Right, right. So, so you're talking about, so, so there's an efficiency angle to what you do as well. Yep, absolutely. Uh, the only thing I'd add that's, that's that we really focus on being in the embedded space, we've been embedded for more than 40 years now is we understand that lifetime is not infinite and we need to reduce things like write amplification and extend the lifetime of the product. Right. We, you, If you want 10 years, we want to make sure you get 10 years. Right. If you're an automotive, I, there's cars that are 40 years old. They're not using NAND flash today. And uh, 40 years from now, will there be cars using NAND flash? I don't know. It won't be the original that it's shipped with, I'll tell you that, because it'll have to be replaced. Right. So what you're just, what, what, what you're saying with, with Tuxera is uh, a situation where you're saving a lot of money on hardware, yep. but you're also being very efficient with the files and the safety and the reliability moving forward. Exactly. Right, okay. So if your data is absolutely critical, you want to save money on hardware, you want to make your products future-proof future, future -proof using software from Tuxera, ideal solution. Now, how do they go about evaluating you? Do they just come to you and they get software? How does that work? Yes, uh, the short version, yeah, reach out to us, reach out to our sales team. Uh, there's a form on the website, I'm sure. Uh, or come via IPExchange. Absolutely. There'll be a link below, probably, or something there like that. There most certainly will be. Just around about here, probably. Uh, that source code evaluation is free, and we have a, a rather extensive 300-page API documentation as well. Available for free download. It's extensive. Thanks, Tom. Good. We're done. Are you where my engineers at?